Hello, this is Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly. This is an old hate sermon, um, uh, Understanding Life. It's in the life category of no hate sermons, life five actually, uh, what's been classified as for life sermons recently. Um, uh, understanding Life. Now, lo okay, life one is life one, the meaning of life. The meaning of life sermon's been gone into a category, it's now life one, the meaning of life. And, Life 2 is engaging with life, which is going into that category as well. Life 3 is what should I do with my life. And Life 4 video is direction of life. So they've been gone, gone into a life, the life category. So life 5, this video is life 5, understanding life. Understanding life. Now, um, once you've hit 20 years of age, all of us understand life a certain degree. To a certain degree. Our brains have been processing for 20 years and we've worked some stuff out. We've worked a bit of knowledge of what life is all about. Now, um, over those 20 years we've made choices. And we've made decisions and we've thought about things and we've done things and we've had actions in our lives and we've had experiences and through all those experiences that we've had we've learned lessons you know. as Gabriella Chilmey might say there are lessons to be learned and by the time we've reached 20 years of age we've learned a lot of lessons and we've come to a lot of understanding and life now, Adam, the first man, Adam, lived to 930 years of age, I do believe. Um, so, by the time Adam reached 930 years of age, he had a lot of understanding of life. All of the Arks, for the most part, lived about nine centuries, though Enoch lived 365 years and was raptured or something, taken up to heaven, and Lamech lived 777 years, but most of them lived about 900 odd years, and in nine, 900 centuries, the, de the Desiarchs, our ancient patriarchal ancestors, they learned a lot about life, and they grew in a lot of understanding of life. And their understanding of life is the foundation of humanity, in a sense. They're our forefathers who have a foundation stone on one which we're all built, and which is progressing today. And part of the, the core understanding of life is to go to the Rainbow Torah itself to learn the fundamental principles and precepts and building blocks of human society there in Genesis 1-1 to Genesis 11-9, the Rainbow Torah part of understanding life is to understand the blueprint of God's knowledge for mankind there in that Rainbow Torah that gives us the core understanding of the morals and the principles and the regulations and how how this world all fits together but now in our own little world where we are at 20 years of age we've gone through it and we've we've started to work some things out we started to learn from the lessons which life has taught us from our education and from our from the parenting which has gone on for us and from our friends and family who've taught us lessons and we've worked out some things in understanding life from experience and from what's happened to us and decisions made. So it's, in a, in a sense, human development is, development is a lot about what's happened to us, but also from the choices we make ourselves. So how we understand life and fit it all together is from all those things working together upon us to, to help us to become what we are and perhaps who we should be. Do we need to understand life? Some people think the understanding and meaning of life is to go out and get blotto on Saturday night and have a big party and get high on drugs and hit the hookers maybe if you're a bloke or, you know, not, not necessarily hookers, the, the, the cheap chick at the bar and take her home to your place and screw her brains out and for some, Sin City is the meaning of life. I'm not sure if your understanding of life will be eternal that's your understanding of life, which 
perhaps should be the point, but not everyone necessarily agrees. A lot of people don't care, and a lot of people do care. We're a mixed bag humanity, aren't we? But for a Noahide, which is what this religion that I preach is, what this teaching is all about, for a Noahide, understanding life is, is, is trying to make sense of everything that's happened to us and fit it, I suppose, into a context of where we fit in the big picture of things and where we should be going. Where we are going and where we should be going. You know? Where are you going in life? Where, where are you going? And understanding life is about understanding how we fit into this great scheme of human society on planet Earth and where we're going with it. That seems to be the point. I'm not 100% sure in the end if you can find any real meaning to life. The great philosophy of what's the meaning of life? You know, what, what, where, where, what, what's the point of it all? I, to, uh, to me, the point is God made us in Eden and here we are. This, this just is life. What you see out there and in, in, in your life, that's what you get. But not so much the meaning of it, which is really just to exist, I suppose, but to understand it is more of an important thing, to understand how it all works and how all the intricacies of everything fit together and what to do with it is probably more of more of the point, you know. It's to understand it so that you can know perhaps what you can do with it and what you can achieve out of it and what you can find in it which will make your life satisfactory. If you don't really care, which some people don't, then you're not really required to by God. In the end, God gives you a choice, you know. You might not necessarily want to choose sin all the time, but if you might not necessarily want to choose godliness either, or, or having any sort of meaning for your life, or finding a way in eternity. You might not really care. But for, for Noahites, who generally, generally have a, you know, a positive view on life and trying to make something of it, we're supposed to understand it, I think, when it comes right down to it. We're supposed to, I guess, learn from those lessons which life teaches us and learn from our education. And it, when we start to get to 20, and as we get older, put all the pieces together of all that we've gone through and make something of this life which God has placed within our being, which, what he, which he has made us to be. We're a cog in a machine, true. But we're the cog responsible for our own life. Who's 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 in charge? Ultimately God, but he's put you in charge of your own soul. So in understanding life, I would I'd remind you that you're responsible for your own life. You're responsible in the end for where you've been in it. And you're most those definitely responsible for where you're going in life. Understanding life help, helps you to do the right thing in life and to give the right action plan and to give the right agenda and the right life plan and the right blueprint for it all. It helps you to focus on where you should should be going and how you can prosper in life and build a family and build happiness and build success and, you know, meaning and, ha uh, you know, goodness in your life. And to understand that life, you need to think about it and contemplate what's going on in the world and what you've been through and how you can interact for a more positive future for yourself and hopefully for those around you who you can have a positive impact on. We're not perfect. Don't expect to be a saint overnight. You never will be. Perhaps you'll never want to be. But wherever you go, you've got to work it out. You've got to work out some understanding of life because it will help you in the long term to know what it's all about.